Hello folks and welcome back to Leaving a Legacy here with Chelsea on the FM21 Beta. I'm Webby FM. If you are new uh, to the series, to the say, please leave a like uh, down below. A subscribe would really, really help me out. We've got the Zebra, uh, we've got the Zebras uh, coming up in the Champions League uh, semi-finals here. We've just um, beaten... Um, I think it was uh, Villa uh, in the league. So uh, we'll take a look at the league table as well. Let's get on uh, with today's episode. Oh yeah, so it was uh, we we literally just played two games since the Real Madrid uh, game. Uh, we drew nil nil with uh, Villa. That was really really disappointing that match. But uh, we just beat uh, Crystal Palace. Uh, 4-0 Haaland uh, scoring a hat trick there pretty amazing stuff so the board because uh, I think we're, we're we've made the Champions League uh, let's have a look at the yeah we qualified uh, for the Champions League so I think it's going to be one or two more games maybe uh, to win uh, if we win the league there's a there's a gap of uh, six points between ourselves uh, and Manchester uh, City here and if you have a look uh, at the uh, schedule um, list here. You'll see we play um, Juventus, Arsenal, and then Juventus again. And then we've got City uh, in the game afterwards. So what I may do, um, in fairness, is play this Arsenal. Um, I don't think we can win against Arsenal. So uh, I'll play I'll play this the Juventus doubleheader, uh, and we will see uh, what we will see. Let's uh, get to the game uh, itself. So I've had to rotate a, a little bit here, um, given that we've got uh, players um, in need of rest and uh, it's still got that uh, Conte injury, which is really, really annoying. So we'll, we'll, we will we'll rest uh, him for a couple of days till the Arsenal game, which is really, really important uh, for us. So I've changed around, I've tinkered again uh, with a little bit of my tactic. This, going into regroup. Uh, seems to suit this tactic a lot more and we are now also playing the offside trap uh, I believe yeah use the offside trap because we've got a higher uh, defensive line there so it all seems to click and make sense or better sense a little bit uh, than it has so um, we're going with this uh, with this setup this position uh, is definitely one uh, we're going to look at in the uh, in the summer uh, there are a couple of players we've got uh, our eye on. We've got Declan Rice, of course, who I've seen go for like 40 or 50 uh, million in other people's saves. Um, let's do uh, Point Finger. Uh, no, we'll Pump Fists. Um, a first win leg. Yeah, we'll do that one there. Uh, kick off the game. Yeah, so Declan Rice, as I keep mentioning him, um, I want um, ta um, uh, maybe Frankie de Jong. Uh, as well in that position and then maybe Max Ahrens uh, at right back as well build a nucleus of uh, English or British youngsters uh, young quality quality players who can see us through uh, the uh, the future seasons if you like but as I say it may all be sort of a moot point this uh, this building uh, it's a penalty to Juve there maybe I have underestimated Juve and their formation penalty review it's going to get given it is a given uh, to Juventus here Cristiano Ronaldo of course taking their penalty number 7 CR7 and Kepa uh, with an amazing save oh goodness gracious me that is brilliant uh, from our goalie there makes me a bit sad that we're going to sell him I think <laughs> but maybe not he is a bit dodgy uh, I think as well James is uh, having a, a bit of a a moody on he's having a bit of a rubbish game so yeah I mean it's it's a bit um, confusing this this uh, the football manager full release has thrown me a bit uh, a little bit well I, I mean I, I knew that would happen obviously we've all known uh, the date of the release but I'd like to I'd like to get cracking on this Sunderland till I die save I think that'd be really really good fun and I've got you know the thumbnail sorted it's all ready to go ready to rock and roll Rabio. Oh dear, they hit the post. They have been very, very unlucky. If we can hold them to nil-nil uh, here at their stadium, then that would be an amazing result for us. Christiansen in that defensive midfield uh, spot, I'm just not sure of at all. I might change him at half-time. Kovacic um, is good in that position as a, a deep-laying playmaker. Oh dear, they are all, all over us. They really are. I'm going down to a cautious... Uh, balance tactic, I think. This is uh, this is going at a million miles an hour in this game. Haaland, well done. Oh, 
Haaland, what is that, mate? Dybala. Good player, Dybala. Ronaldo scoring uh, for Juventus there. So maybe uh, I did count my chickens. Maybe uh, the semi-finals is where we uh, leave our Champions League adventure uh, for the season. It's no shame at all uh, to be knocked out in the semi-finals, by the way. No shame at all, especially if you're uh, pushing uh, for Premier League. Dybala, you know, let's have a look at this again. It's a lovely through ball, isn't it, from Dybala. He plays that shadow striker role so, so well, uh, if that is what he's playing, or the attacking midfield uh, role. Haaland is having an absolute stinker here. 6.4. But I have noticed their player rating seems to yo-yo quite a lot uh, more than it does. So they can leap from 6.4 uh, to like 6.9 very, very easily uh, just by doing a run or an assist or something. Um, it's a lot more volatile than it was in previous games. So we're coming into half time here. 1-0 to Juventus. Uh, let's go to the dressing room. I'm going to um, uh, thrash arms. Far from pleased what I just saw uh, from the team. Uh, I'm going to do some changes as well, I think. I'm going to bring on... Mm -mm -mm. Don't like Christian Daxson down there. Uh, Kovacic is coming on. And he's going to go in deep laying playmaker. Uh, in defensive there. Uh, Awar is going to go in box-to-box -box. Uh, midfielder. Can Havarts play box-to-box? -box? Not really. No, he's uh, much more of an attacking midfielder. You see, so th this is the weakness that we've had uh, with uh, with Conte out and uh, Mason Mount now uh, needing a bit of a rest there. It's not it's not ideal uh, coming towards the end of the season, but we've got to you know not feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to uh, pick ourselves up and just rely on our, our, you know, our youth, our exuberance, our energy, our quality uh, as well. Kulevsky. Kulevsky, I think it is. I'm not sure uh, how you pronounce that name. Awar with a tackle. James. Oh, dear. They are all, all over us here. Delict. My favourite signing of FM two seasons ago. He was awesome. He really, really was. Ronaldo should have scored there. Kepa uh, keeping him at bay again. Oh dear, Sancho's coming off. I'm not happy uh, with 6.3 and Haaland uh, as well. That's uh, that's my substitutions uh, sorted there. Dybala with a with a corner. Well done, Kepa. You are having an absolute storm, mate. You really, really are. Possibly it's because you want to move to Juventus. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you, mate. I really wouldn't. Pulisic. Plays in Havarts over the bar there. He uh, he was brilliant last game for us, Havarts, against Crystal Palace. He really did uh, rule the roost, uh, run the show uh, in that game. So, 64th minute. I'm not having this. I'm not having it, lads. Uh, hudson Adoy is coming on for Sancho. Um, and Timo Werner uh, is coming on for Haaland as a pressing uh, forward in attack. Confirm those changes. And we'll go into an attacking... Uh, or no, we're going to a positive uh, stance. Maybe maybe we should have been positive from the outset, but I was a bit worried about uh, CR uh, Cristiano and uh, and the rest. 1-0, like I say, is not, is not a terrible result at all. Werner, oh, he almost uh, squeezed it past Chesney there. Not a terrible result at all, I'll take it. Uh, Tamori on a yellow, he's got to be careful. Cellini, Bantacor... Chiesa scoring for uh, Juve there. So 2-0. That is a dagger blow uh, to the heart there. That really, really is. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough within us to uh, come back. Especially with this Arsenal, with this important Arsenal game coming up midweek. The fixture lists have been uh, very, very uh, tight and compact. We've had knocks, we've had injuries, we've had drops in form. It's not great, not been great. Uh, Pulisic, James, an away goal would mean a lot to us. Chiesa, really great player, Chiesa. Forgot they bought him. Tamori, James, Pulisic, away. Oh dear, Morata, our former striker, scores uh, against us there. That is going to be that, uh, I think. 
I'm pretty certain that is going to be that. So that changes my mind a little bit. I think what I'm going to do now is bring you the Arsenal game, like I said uh, we were going to do, because I don't see us uh, coming back from this in the uh, in the next leg. James, oh dear, they are they are all over us. They really, really are. This is the worst I've seen us play in a long, long time. Pulisic. Should have scored. We should have had an away goal there. That is such a shame. Just blow the whistle, ref. I've had enough of this game. I don't want to watch any more. Morata. Rabio. It's a strange tactic formation they're playing, isn't it? But it seems to be effective. It really does. Oh, goodness gracious me. This is just non stop highlights. I just want it to end. I've had enough. I've had enough game. James. No, dispossessed the game. No, Kovacic. Kovacic. How are? Good build, patient build up from us. Poor, poor pass uh, from how are there. I expected better uh, of him. Chiesa. He's, he's playing more of like an inside sort of uh, forward, like a real inside forward. Maybe it's an attacking position they've got him in. And that is that, I'm afraid. So that looks like that's going to be insurmountable uh, for us. So um, I'm going to go um, and uh, calm down a bit after that. I am not happy uh, with that result in the least. Um, so we're going to bring you the Arsenal game um, coming up shortly. We really, really need a result uh, against Arsenal to keep our possibilities of our Premier League uh, win um, coming coming up. OK, everyone, after that disappointing, disappointing Champions League game against Juventus, this is essential uh, that we win this. I think if we win this game, we are there or thereabouts uh, in the Premier League with um, the Man City game to come uh, after this. So it's so, so important uh, that we win uh, this game in the league. Let's get to the game. Uh, folks, let's uh, get to the game here. So submit the team, go to match. Oh, I am really, really... Uh, I didn't think I'd be quite so cross um, about that game there. I mean, it's all right losing 1 or 2 nil away from home, but 3 uh, is is not great uh, at all. So we owe Arsenal after what they did last match. Oh, God, yeah, they play the horrid uh, formation as well, don't they? Um, so let's play... Let's. We need to uh, mark Lacazette uh, and press him uh, and tackle him hard. And again, same with um, Aubameyang. Um, and I think we're going to do Bellerin uh, and uh, Alonso here uh, too. Um, and we'll kick off uh, from there. So we do need um, to bounce back with a victory here. It is essential. Or at least we don't want to lose at the Emirates. We really, really don't. I'd like to see better games uh, from Haaland and uh, Sancho there. They let me down big time uh, last game, didn't they? Kepa, he was magnificent last game. Holding. Bellerin. Chambers. Good pressing. Holding. Leno. This, this looks like it could be interesting tactically. Aubameyang. We're backing off him there, I don't like that. Oh, over the bar from Aubameyang there. Hmm. So there is stuff to ponder. Maybe I was just being a little bit too optimistic about how good we were. I mean, I thought that we had Sancho and, and Harlan, and I thought that was it. Job done, you know. No need uh, to make much in the way of improvements. But I think in the summer, I have got to be looking to get to that next level again. And I think I am going to do what I said mentioned earlier. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to bring you... Um, summer transfer window... Uh, I'm going to do a mid-winter kind of update and then the end of the season. So three more episodes uh, next uh, next season. And then we will do our um, Into the Future kind of Aubameyang. Uh, our Into the Future uh, kind of um, deal, you know, where we holiday three years and see. Uh, and then five years maybe and see if we've left the legacy. Then we'll crack on uh, with the uh, with the Sunderland Till I Die uh, save. Which should, I think, see us through till uh, after Christmas maybe. Something along those lines. We'll play it by ear when we get there anyway. So, uh, funnily enough, I'm actually quite happy 
with the scoreline as is. They are dangerous, ask this Arsenal side. Against our formation, we do not like playing uh, against this kind of team. Oh, we should have scored there. Haaland should have scored his goal. But that is good signs. Oh, Lacazette, what on earth? That is a route one ball. Well done, Kepa. Good save there, mate. You have been a hero uh, last couple of games. But um, that was, I think, uh, Thiago Silva uh, losing his man there. Oh, dear, that is not good at all. So um, I'm going to uh, point finger. Um, we owe Arsenal. Give the, let's go out and get revenge. Hmm, not sure about that. I'm going to go to attacking. And I think I'm going to go to my attacking formation because we do need uh, points here. Now, this is even more dangerous by me uh, because last time we played this against, uh, against them, they actually smashed us, uh, didn't they, in the league? So I don't know, but uh, we will see. Coming into the 60th minute now. Not a lot in the way of highlights, are there? Um, 0.11 um, XG. I'm going to demand more uh, from the lads. Zayac isn't having the greatest of games. Let's do a sub uh, for Zayac here. We'll bring Pulisic uh, on for him. Play him as a uh, inverted winger in attack. Confirm the subs there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is nerve-wracking now. I, I, I'll get away with a draw here, I think. Uh, have arts. I'll come away, happily come away with a draw. Oh dear, Aubameyang, Lacazette, danger, hits the post. Oh, that was almost a disaster uh, at the back. What is going on there, boys, uh, at the back? Bit of calmness needed, please. Away by Thiago Silva. Oh dear, this is, uh, this is troubling times. Really, really is troubling times for Chelsea, this Chelsea side. Maybe... Uh, we bit off a bit more than we can chew here. Uh, we're going to bring Awar on for Havarts. And we're going to bring on Tammy Abraham uh, for Haaland here. And we're going to fire the boys up. Come on, boys. Come on, let's score a last minute. Uh, we'll, we'll go attacking. Uh, we can't do any more changes. I thought that was a highlight for us, but because we made, made changes, the highlight uh, went away, sadly. Oh, okay, nil-nil. Nil-nil, we'll have to settle for nil-nil against Arsenal. Like I say, that means that the Manchester City game uh, coming up is going to be a big one uh, for us after the uh, after the Champions League. And I think that might be where we pick up next. Um, that simply put was not good enough. We should have won that match. That's fine. Okay, so... Um, hmm. Uh, a loss against Juventus and then a, and then a draw, uh, a nil-nil draw against Arsenal. Let's see what this does uh, to the league when it goes uh, through this uh, through this little period here. So looking at the league table here, 83 points for Chelsea now. Uh, Manchester City hot on our trails, four points behind uh, with 79 points. And as you can see here uh, on our schedule, we have a showdown uh, against Manchester City. Uh, after the Juventus game, so I I'll play that, and then I think the last game uh, of the uh, of the season uh, is going to be Manchester City. And if we need to to win the league, I'll bring you the Leicester game uh, as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed that episode. There, I must admit, I didn't enjoy the loss, and I didn't particularly enjoy the uh, the nil nil against uh, Arsenal there. But we have got an in in important important game coming up. Uh, at the end of the season to try and seal uh, our Premier League uh, title. If you have enjoyed that, please leave a like uh, down below. Uh, subscribe uh, if you knew would really, really help me out. Have a lovely rest uh, of your day, everybody.